courage is unbeatable with clear signals. Whatever the event, be it talk shows, discussions, educational, documentary, or religious programs, we've got you covered at your one-stop station. Welcome to the news at 2. I am Chika Ubu. The House of Assembly Committee on Rural Development says it is ready to partner the Ministry of Local Government and Chief Tensi Martyrs to make laws that will guarantee free, fair and credible elections of town union and traditional rulers in Enugu State. The Committee Chairman on Rural Development, Gabriel Eze, affirmed this during an oversight visit on the Ministry of Local Government and Chief Tensi Martyrs. Chimaroke Ugu reports. The House of Assembly Committee on Rural Development was at the Ministry of Local Government and Chief Tensi Martyrs to harmonize a framework that will address the discrepancies and misunderstanding surrounding the election of traditional rulers and town union leadership in Enugu. Among the communities identified by the House Committee are Umwero in issues of local government area, Urubu and Adaba in Ozowa in local government areas, respectively. The House Committee Chairman requested the tripartite ministry to conduct free, fair and credible elections in the affected areas based on popular demand of the people, so as to restore peace in the communities. Yeah, Kiyatika, doesn't go down well with some communities. In as much as 90% of the community populace are on one side, they should go ahead and conduct elections for them. Instead of taking two or three persons' advice. And they should help, be able to go to that community that is involved and make a necessary inquiry before setting up the committees, uh, com uh, Keteria Committee. The Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Tenancy Matters affirmed the resolve of the Ministry to conduct credible elections. He disclosed that a bill to address the challenges in election matters will be forwarded to the House of Assembly soon. Go and resolve those conflict areas on a baby election. Court judgment is still on the table. And they have not, they have not done any election. And they quickly went around with the piece of paper and got here. We don't have a problem with that. The minister will go on investigation to find out actually have many the constitution whether people with the entire community is in agreement with you. We don't have a problem with that. So in such case, this is exactly the kind of thing when they bring you petition, you don't know what we are going to. Thank you, you appreciated the nominee of the job yeah. associated with our mandate. It's terrible here. Both parties agreed to synergize efforts in fostering a peaceful state. In Enugu, Chimaroke Ugu NTA News. To have smooth conduct of national census when it's rescheduled, the House of Representatives is following up on the state of preparedness of key players to be involved in its exercise. To this end, an investigation hearing on the money expended for the planned 2023 census is being tracked by the House Committee on Population National Assembly Correspondent Muhammad Rabiu Ali reports. 2023, the House of Representatives deliberated on the census matter. This followed a motion by Dominic Okafo calling on the House to investigate the 200 billion naira alleged to have been expended on the postponed 2023 population and housing census by the National Population Commission. Investigate how and where and why. This investigative hearing seeks, among other things, to provide accurate information on the postponement and all petitions laid by lawmakers, individuals, and civil societies on the matter. We have been on our toes preparing for the conduct of the census, and we've uh, carried out these activities and we're well, almost on the verge of conducting census in May when. Uh, we, it was um, uh, postponed to uh, the time that uh, 
the new administration has come in and has settled down and take ownership in the uh, preparation for the census. After we go through this exercise, which is the spending, if you are able to justify to Nigerians that you have utilized this money judiciously. The committee therefore resolved to carry out on the spot assessment to the commission in Abuja and other 36 states of the federation with a view to having a best census. The last national census was conducted in 2006. From the National Assembly, Mohamed Rabi Ali, NTA News. Nigeria is intensifying efforts to end tuberculosis by 2030, with the National Assembly pledging commitment to legislate on improved funding and protection of the rights of TB patients and families. To buttress Yes, We Can End TB, which is the 2024 theme for World TB Observance, actors, civil society, organizations, the government and the National Assembly took to the streets of Abuja to close ranks and end the scourge of TB by 2030. This advocates for the appeal for investment to build the capacity of health workers, improve TB management system at all levels, as well as funding of research for informed decision on tackling the disease. TB is preventable and curable with free testing and treatment. Let's take a short break. Stay with us. Our 2 p.m. news now comes up every day, Monday to Friday. Stay with NTN Network Center. Welcome back. The federal government of Nigeria has urged the, the international community to partner African continents for more development through sustainable funding. The Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Kennedy Ohanenye, stated this during her presentation at the just concluded 68th session of the United Nations Women Conference. The Commission on the State of Women, CSW 68, held in New York, USA. The minister reminded that the Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, is committed to job creation for women and youths by putting in place economic structure to fast track investment, accelerate imp implementation of various frameworks for achieving sustainable development goals by 2030. Investing in women, the African sub-region is essential in upscaling girl-child education and child marriage and all the harmful practices through multi-sectorial approach. The Commission on the State of Women is a functional commission of the UN Economic and Social Economic and Social Council, an organ of the UN that promotes gender equality and women development. Moving on, federal government says it is deploying new technologies to support the security agencies to overcome the security threat, challenging the peace and stability of the country. Minister of Defense Mohammad Badaro Abubakar disclosed this on an operational visit to three military formations, Kano State. Abdullahi Mustafa tells us more. Former African Footballer of the Year, Victor Ikbeba, has said Super Eagles interim coach, Finidi Judge, is on the right track to becoming the team's substantive coach. Finidi took charge of the team for a 2-1 to -one win over Ghana in an international friendly last Friday. This follows the exit of Jose Pissarro, who led Nigeria to the 2023 African Cup of Nations earlier this year. For more spots, here are Titbits.
that's the size of our bulletin for 2 p.m. news. Do join us for our 7 p.m. bulletin. Good night. Thank you.